guys so happy republic day to all of you you know our country became a republic in 1950 and it's a very important day for the country and i wish you all a very happy republic day hey guys so as you can see the rx135 engine is on the engine stand the plan is to actually remove the clutch side cover and prep it for painting so that is too much of sanding and then also what we will do is we will also try to mask the cylinder and we will paint the cylinder as well so once we prep it for painting we will actually we want to assemble the engine back we'll keep the engine as is so that we can assemble it once the oil seals are changed so now what we are going to do first is we are going to drain the oil once the oil is drained after that we will remove this cover and we will start sanding it once it is properly sanded we will apply primer and then paint so hopefully i am thinking that we might be able to finish it today maybe little late but we will do it and then we will plan the next set of items
day so very long day very tired so i clean the entire engine you can see it is almost spotless like you know you can't really find any speck of dust on it that is basically because we used a very useful and old technique that most of the mechanics use which is first they clean everything with kerosene and then they clean it with petrol so now kerosene is not available so people use diesel but it is almost the same kind of an outcome that you get so one small request while you're using petrol or kerosene be very careful because these are flammable substances so if you know there is any chance of it catching fire things can go very wrong very quickly so be careful but you can see the results for yourself everything uh, has been cleaned properly so there is no grime on it um, everything is very properly taken off and what we have to do next is we have to sand everything make all this level and then wherever there is paint chipping like this we will apply some primer and then we will paint the whole thing so i have to paint this set of covers plus i have to paint those two forks as well which i have uh, which is already in fact painted but we'll have to paint it anyway and then remaining once it is painted then we need to get the oil seals and you know we'll replace those oil seals the bearings are not going to be replaced i'm not going to remove the cylinder uh, it is going to be painted as is because this is not a full restoration this is kind of a running repair wherein you know we have to make sure that this bike looks as good as it can be sold but you know since it is me i'm not going to cut corners otherwise most of the paint shops will not even take the engine out to do this kind of a work and mostly it will be done in such a way that you know nobody will actually find a fault but my conscience and my ocd doesn't let me do that so that's the reason why we took everything apart everything is very clean you know there is grime on the other side which is okay because painted surface is going to be this side but you know these things usually become very dirty very fast so to get it to this level it wasn't easy and my back is actually you know talking to me right now so i that's the reason why i took a break and i decided to end the video here otherwise usually i would actually go and paint it but you know taking breaks at the right time is also important so the next thing that we will do is hopefully we will prep everything for paint tomorrow and then we are going to paint everything once it is painted and we get the oil seals etc taken care of it will go on the bike so that's the plan saturday i will also get the petrol tank so we'll have to paint the tank as well so that is another thing that we have to do all right so that is the video i hope you guys liked what you saw if you did please like share and subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one bye